Hello everyone, this is Kenneth Brony from Cambro Tech. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about CSS. So this is a CSS crash course for absolute beginners. At Cambro Tech, we say learn programming. You can do it. So let me start off by saying this is a crash course for absolute beginners. If you have no experience with programming, you are good to go. However, if you have some basic, and I mean very basic um, experience with programming, then you are good to go. So we are going to touch on the basic concepts of CSS with detailed explanation. Now, CSS is not a programming language and, and CSS is not a standalone thing. So CSS goes hand in hand with HTML. So you definitely need some basic knowledge in HTML. However, as far as this program is structured, we are going to look at some basic HTML syntax and how we can style them. So if you really want to know more about HTML, I have a crash course video of HTML and I'll link it up in the description below. So the tools and resources you definitely need in order to do this is basically you need a computer because you are going to program on a computer. You also need a web browser and these are the options I will recommend. You can either have a Google Chrome, a Mozilla Firefox or Safari. Either of these three will be good for you. But my choice of preference is with Google Chrome. You can decide to choose any of these three. Now then you also need a text editor or an ID. An ID is an integrated development environment. And that's basically the software you are going to use to type your codes. So that's going to give you that interface, that environment for you to type. So the options available are Sublime Text. You can use Atom. Then there's Visual Studio Code. Now once again, I prefer Visual Studio Code. So primarily, these are the two softwares that you are going to use. We are going to use a Google Chrome browser to actually view um, our styling. Then we are also going to follow on Visual Studio Code to actually type what we need to type. So CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And what that means is um, we use it for styling. Sometimes the names are very important for you to understand what they do. And um, I'm saying it is used mainly for designing markups. So the markups in HTML, we are going to use CSS to design them. So this means CSS is together used with HTML. You can use CSS alone. You need a markup or an HTML to design. So there are basically three ways in which we can add CSS into our work. Um, and we are going to look at all three of them. We are going to explore all three of them and see which one um, is the most efficient based on the kind of work you are trying to do. So the first of which is the inline method. There is also the internal method and the external method. We are going to see the three of them. So we are going to start with the inline method. So in starting off with the inline method, the first thing that we are going to do is to open VS Code. And I have VS Code on my desktop. I will double click on it. Now that I have VS Code open, I'll create a folder in which we are going to do everything in there. So like I usually do, I'll click on this Explorer button over here then. I'll click on open folder. Now this is going to send me straight into my root directory. And I'm going to click new folder. So I'm going to create a new folder in which we are going to do our work. So I'm going to name this CSS underscore course. Then I'll click on the select folder to select it. So what we have, um, we have our folder CSS underscore course, and it's located in a drive D. No, I think, yes, yeah, C drive. I'll go to users, then into my root directory, I think, to be located at the very bottom. So I have CSS crash course. So as you can see, it's an empty folder. We don't have anything created over here. Now, remember, I made mention of the fact that CSS, as far as CSS is concerned, it goes with HTML. So first of all, we need an HTML document to style. I'm going to create an HTML file. And we are going to name this index.html. And this is an HTML document. So like we did with our, um, our HTML crash course, we can type HTML and we select the second option over here, which is HTML5. So basically, this is actually giving us the entire HTML um, structure. And 
I'm going to change the title to index page or perhaps home page. So I'll save this. So we have this over here. Now let's go into um, where this is located and go and run it. So that's what we have here. And let me expand this. This is a Chrome HTML document. Now what I can do is to launch this by double clicking on it and it's going to open in the browser. Now currently we don't have anything in there. That's why it is blank. So for first timers, you are going to go into the body tag and you are just going to type an H1 tag and inside it, I'm going to say Ken Brutek. And once I type anything, I need to save because as you can see over here, I have one unsaved and this icon pretty much tells us that it is unsaved. So I'll have to do control S and after doing control S, I'll go into the browser and go and refresh. And now we have Cambrotech in here for us. So this is what you're going to do. So this is Cambrotech and we're also going to put out a paragraph tag. So we all remember from HTML, the paragraph tag is P. So in VS Code, if you should type P and then press enter, we have the HTML paragraph tag given to us. And in this particular instance, we have both the opening tag and the closing tag. Now we are also going to generate some dummy text. So for instance, we can do lorem. And if you should press enter from here, we have some dummy text generated for us. So we go back into our browser and come and refresh and we have this dummy text over here. Now we said we are going to do the inline styling or the method for styling. So as the name suggests, the styling has to be inline and it has to be in line of the tag or the particular element in which we want to style. So for instance, if you want to style the H1 tag over here, which is Cambrotech in there, you have to come into the opening tag of H1. Then we are going to type style. So this style now becomes an attribute. Then inside style, we are going to specify a property. So the color is a property and we are going to give it a value. So the value can be anything or any color. And we can say red. So all that we've tried to do over here is we are giving H1, which the default color over here is black. And we want to change the color to red. So we are putting in this particular line of code or this portion of the code is actually CSS. But then we are using the inline method. That's why I have it inside this particular tag. Now, when we save this and come back into our page and come and refresh, we are going to see that the black color now changes to red. So this is basically the inline style. Now, if you are to do same to this particular tag, we are also going to type style and we specify a property. So with this property, um, let's use background color. Let's use background color. And for the background color, I'm going to say blue violet. So all that is going to happen is behind the background of this text, we are going to see a blue violet color shading beneath this line. So when we refresh this, we are seeing this. It is not too clear, but then basically we get the whole idea of what we are trying to do. We can as well, so as you can see, we have the background color as blue violet, as you can see, but then the black is not popping out very well. It is not showing out very well. So what we can do is we can actually add a couple of uh, properties and their corresponding values over here. So we have a semicolon over here and this semicolon is used to separate properties. So we can as well say color and the color we are going to choose. Um, let's choose white. For the color we are going to choose white. The color is the color of the text and the background color is the background color. So when we refresh this, we see that 
now the white is showing this contrast between the background color and what we have as a color so basically that's the inline method of adding css into html now if you are very observant you realize that we probably if we are to add a couple of things over here then it is not going to be uh, a very good design because we are going to have a lot of things we need to do now let's assume we have another paragraph somewhere and let's say this paragraph is a different text so this is a different text i'll save this and when i refresh we are seeing this this is a different text now these are two different paragraphs but let's assume i want all my paragraphs to have these styling as you see over here then definitely you would have to come and retype all these which is actually going to be some work so you have to come and retype all this in here so i did I copied it and pasted it over here and it's going to be a lot of work so basically there are better ways of doing some of these things and that will lead us to the other forms of styling so at this point you are going to explore the internal method of adding CSS into our HTML documents so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear off the styling that we have done no let me create a new page actually so i'll create a new file and i'm going to name this about.html so in about.html we can have a html template over here and let's name this about page so i'll save this and we are going to type some few things over here so let's have an h1 tag let's say we have block title then we have a paragraph in here and for now let's generate some dummy text but then as you can see i typed lorem and ended with 100 what i'm trying to say is i need 100 words of a dummy text so when i press enter we are going to see these are 100 words actually we don't need to count them they are 100 so now we can go into our folder and we have the html document over here we can double click on this to open this so as you can see this is the about page and we have block title as the h1 tag and we have this dummy text over here like some kind of a block now in order to make this a little bit nice let's try and use the acml tags you already know so let's use the horizontal line tag that will kind of draw a line in between the block title and the block itself so when i do a refresh you can see that we have this line over there let's try and differentiate this so we have block title one and when we come here we have block title one so let's copy the entire thing so we do control c and when we come down control v control v so i'm just going to change this to block title 2 and this is block title 3 just to make things look a little bit nice and neat so when i refresh this is what we are having for our website and we want to style this using the internal method so in using the internal method all that we need to do is to come into our head tag now remember there's a head tag where we have the about page or our title now inside this we can type in style and this style is an html tag so we can type any of the style that you want to apply over here so for instance if we want to grab all the h1s and apply the styling on it we can say h1 and we use the curly brackets we we'll open and close it immediately we type the opening curly brackets um, vs code automatically closes it for you 
then we are going to use color so color is a property and the value let's use red so that it pops up so now what's happening over here this is going to apply to all the h1 tags so as you can see block title one is an h1 tag block title two is an h1 tag just as block title three is an h1 tag so here we are using this style to affect all the h1s in here remember when we were using the inline because it was inline we couldn't use the same styling to affect a number of tags now back to uh about.html so when we come into our browser and come and refresh you can see that all our h1 tags are being affected by the styling we specified over there so this is the inline now why what you can see over here is it kind of separates our work in terms of our css code and our main html because we can just go up here and come and apply styling over here and you don't have to be putting attributes and styling in line of our various tags so it kind of separates our work for us and it's very good when you have um things separated but then are working together so that if there's any problem you can just focus on one particular area work with it and sync it together other than having it all clustered like we saw over here so we can do something over here. we can actually combine the inline styling as well as the internal styling so what we've done over here is the internal styling or method we can apply the inline styling over here so we can see style and let me see I'm going to choose a background color of a background color of blue so once I do this and come back into this page we are specifying the background color for the first title block so when you come and refresh you can see that we have color blue over here it's pretty much uh, the contrast is uh, kind of taking um, the color of the text away but then as we saw but then as you saw me do with the first one we can as well specify a color over here and for the color we are going to say white so that it pops up so once we save and come back here we are going to see that we have a color white over here so basically what we've done is we've actually applied two of the styling method so they are not mutually exclusive as far as the applications are concerned we can combine in fact we can combine all three of them we are going to move on to the next one now once you're able to get a full grip of how we apply those methods then we'll dive deep into other html and css styling that we can learn